Hulk is, is probably about 181 pounds. Mommy is five pounds. So, got about 176 pounds in difference. We breed and train protection dogs. We've been doing this for 15 years. Our most famous dog is the Hulk. He's 180 pounds. He's the poster boy for everything worldwide. Not all of our dogs are pit bulls, though. One of our dogs is a little bit different than the others. Mommy comes from Springfield, Massachusetts. I seen a video of this of a other dog doing protection work, a little chihuahua. So I was I was intrigued. I wanted to have a go at it. So um, I went on Craigslist and I actually had Lisa look for chihuahuas and and uh, I got her. I think I had her the next day, right? Maybe like 20 minutes from my house. Went and picked her up, little cool thing. Put her in my jacket. You know, I, mean, I got her in the winter, brought her home. Started to do basic, so, you know, just basic stuff with her. Then about a month later, I found out that she had a very you know, significant um, birth date. She was actually born on the anniversary of my father's death, you know, so she became a, uh, a pretty special piece in the house. She's got really good drive. Yeah, she thinks she's a big dog. She's tough. She holds her own in the house. Mommy's got a pit bull attitude. And it's gonna take a lot of attitude if you're gonna hold your own one of the biggest pit bulls in the world. It could be unusual for some people, but it's not unusual for me to have a chihuahua amongst my dogs. You know, I mean, they're dogs to me, so I don't look at dogs as, you know, races or anything like that. Chihuahua, she's just, she's just part of the family. I don't think Mommy's really at danger of playing with Hulk. He's very aware of her size. He's very gentle with her. Oh, you stepped on her toe. They play really well together. Oh, Hulk and Mommy have a great relationship. You know, I mean, they spend a lot of time together. They'll, she comes on group walks with us. I've seen them curled up sleeping together. They're, they're really cute. I've come in the kitchen before and seen Hulk laying on the ground with a tug toy and Mommy at the other end of the tug toy and them just playing together. Hear him rolling around on his side and him and her pulling as hard as she could. It's pretty remarkable to watch, you know, such a small dog and, and, and such, a, such a big dog. She grew up with Hulk. They're about the same age, actually. They're very close, about a month and a half apart. We are here at one of our waterfalls uh, that we live locally to, and we've never seen Mommy swim before, so we figured, because her and Hulk are best friends, that uh, if he can, we'll see if he can help her swim. I think having another dog around will be helpful for her to see if she wants to give us a paddle. You know, to show you the bond between two dogs, you know, to show you that, you know, pairs of dogs can, can accomplish more together than alone, I guess. So a little dog will follow big dog. Mommy did really good for her first time swimming. Hulk was right there beside her the whole time and helped her right to shore. Well, I felt like he was a little bit more pushy than I would have wanted him to be, so. Didn't go as I thought it would go, but you know, it happens, man. I'm not always right. So these two don't just play together. They have their meals together, too. Although their appetites are a little bit different, you could say. Hulk's food size could probably feed her for the year. <laughs> That's funny, I'll, I'll walk in my room sometimes and they're both eating out of the bowl at the same time. There's something else that they do together, but I'm not sure that you could say that either one particularly likes it. So we have our friend Wilma comes over and she grooms them and something else that she does is she cleans their teeth. Wilma has no fear at all, sticking her hands right in Giant Hulk's mouth. No, stop licking. These are dangerous weapons here. <laughs> yeah. My weapons, not yours. 
We have five dogs of our own. One's a Rottweiler. Then we have three little Yorkshire Terriers and a three pound Yorkshire Terrier who rules the roost. That's my finger in there, son. <laughs> and I've met this guy before. His are really good, but he can sit here while we, we uh, do this one. Come here there, Matilda. You're not afraid he'll take your hand off, Ben? No. Got him. <laughs> when they, when you answer, this one might. <laughs> this is the, these little ones are more, I know life, a little more um, sensitive. Cleaning Hulk's teeth was one thing, but mommy was a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but she got through it and she's a really good girl. Don't lie. Stop lying. And I am actually a licensed dental hygienist for people. I know, I know, I know. Bro, your foot is the size of her head. These two dogs are great together. They spend as much time together as they can. But sometimes we have to keep them apart for both their sakes. When mommy goes into heat, um, we do need to keep them separated just for uh, his sanity, because he'll go crazy. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't, it's not even possible. She will too, with him trying to, trying to get to her and being nosy, and we do keep them separated just to be fair to them both. Definitely heat. She's, I know, she smells very enticing, it's very hard. Well, they're so comfortable in each other's company because of the way that they're raised. They're raised with rules, boundaries, limits, balance. When you insert balance into a dog's life, you know, anything is possible. It's, it's all a matter of, of how they live together and the order in which we live. You know, we're always leading the way. And as long as you lead, you know, dogs follow. You lead with a, with a calm, firm energy, dogs follow. You know, dogs, they don't, they don't follow anger. Dogs don't follow weakness. You know, they follow calm, balance. That's how we're able to have the relationship with them and the relationship with all the dogs.